have Blossom here today just to show you how we would give a rat a little wash if they're a bit mucky but not mucky enough for a bath. Um, if you've seen our video on bathing rats you'll know that we really don't like to bath rats. Most of our rats have never had a bath. Occasionally older rats might need a little help keeping themselves clean if they can't reach their backs to clean themselves. But all you need is some clean lukewarm water if you're just using plain water, just one small bowl of water, um, either I've got a tea towel here but you can use a face cloth or a face flannel, something that's not too rough, uh, a towel to dry your rat in afterwards. We're using a low coffee table but you could also, an ideal place is, is on the floor or the bath, inside the bath, have the bowl in the bath. If your rat is very dirty you need two bowls of water. Um, never use shampoo around the face area and the head area but if you're cleaning the back of the rats, the rear end just a tiny little bit of a special animal shampoo, small animal shampoo never use washing up liquid or even human shampoos um, are not a, not a good idea at all they might have things in that will irritate your rat's skin I know some people do use baby shampoo um, that is better than most other types, but try and this very cheap, just a couple of pounds for a bottle. Try and always use proper small animal shampoo or just plain water. We do, um, if we've got animals who can't clean themselves properly, we do use a soft toothbrush to actually brush their hair at the back as well, and, and most of them quite enjoy that. But if we were going to just do the face, say your rat has got very mucky eating some food and they're very sticky. Just some plain lukewarm water. Test it on your arm rather than dipping your hand in because your arm is going to be more sensitive. Then just dip the flannel or the cloth into the water and keep away from the actual eyes and the ears. Just very gently wash them around their faces and the mucky bits. And what you can do to do the feet, you can just put the feet onto here and just very damp. That's it, good girl. Clean your feet under your chin. You don't like that, do you, really? No. Now, if we were going to have to put the whole of the underside of the rat in, we would just very... No, you're wriggling. We would just lower them in gently, holding them the whole time. Remember the tail, if the tail is dirty, but I'm not going to put Blossom in because she's not dirty and she doesn't want it. And then what we would do is make sure you wrap them in a nice dry towel that towel was only wet on the corner and just dry them gently and don't leave them running about on the floor if they've had a wash put them back into their cage when you've dried the worst of it off with with some clean towels I mean wrap you up can't we Blossom so that's basically washing your rat try not to unless you absolutely have to and also the wriggly girl she wants to go now let's wrap you up hey hey poor girl poor girl and always have a little treat handy for afterwards, but don't let your rats get chilled when you've washed them. Have some towels handy to wrap them in. I don't know if Blossom will take a treat now. She's probably not very happy, but we'll give her a cheerio when we put her back in her cage. She says, get me away from this water. So it's basically lukewarm water. Don't use shampoo unless you have to. If you do have to, rinse well with two bowls of water. Always use small animal shampoo. Have some towels ready, um, either on the floor or a low coffee table or inside the bath. And um, some flannels, face cloths or tea towels. And just be very gentle and never use shampoo around the face or the head of your rat. Now Paul Blossom really wants to go back to her cage now. She doesn't like this. So... I'm going to give her back into her cage and give her a little treat.